my childhood at school was not a pleasant time. I loved learning and I loved the idea of education and being at school, but I was bullied so badly at school. So coming back here today, I really am feeling quite nervous in my stomach. It made me feel incredibly insecure. It made me feel very stupid. It made me feel very alone. Um, it never felt as important when I spoke about it to my parents as it really was to me when I was actually in the situation. You know the story about one of the big bullies I told you that came into my my studio. I I was seven, 17, no, 18 and I was in my first proper studio in Lotts Road and a girl walked into my studio and it was a, a small studio, but I had my desks and it, and it was a business. I had Kelly Hoppen um, interiors and this girl walked through the door selling sandwiches because it was like a, a courtyard with all these amazing studios and I literally went cold because it was her. And I kind of froze and then there was that moment where my mind just flipped and I thought, no, I'm sitting here, I own this space, I'm in my environment. And uh, she said, do you remember me? And, I, and I, I said, oh yeah, I remember you. I said, you, and I told her, I said, you bullied me so badly at school, you made my life hell. And she, she couldn't believe it. And that's, that's the whole thing about bullies, that they don't remember that they've actually done that. And then she said, do you want to buy a sandwich? And I went, I wouldn't buy anything from you. You can leave now. And that was kind of like my way of, you know, but there was that moment all those years later, even when I was in a position of power in my own environment, it was still that moment of fear. There are so many different levels of being bullied, whether it's physical, whether it's cyber, whether it's words, whether it's no words. You will know if you're being bullied and it doesn't matter if it's a little thing, it should be spoken about. As human beings, we have a gut feeling about something. And if you feel that something isn't right in any form, you should find somebody that you can speak to that you trust. And I think that's, that's a really good piece of advice to give you, because I think a lot of what I did as a child was keep it all in, and then it manifests and gets much bigger, and you become resentful, and then you probably turn out to be a bit you know, nasty back because you're scared. So I think it doesn't matter what it is, you need to speak, speak your mind and get some help. You know, what the Diana Awards is doing with these ambassadors for anti-bullying is fantastic because it's putting people on the ground to be able to, to help other kids. I think just by having the, that kind of authority and, and kids being in that position to help others, at least kids know that there are people in the schools that they can turn to. I'll tell you another thing is my um, partner's little girl is special needs and she was being bullied and it was the Diana Awards that I had her read all about it and gave her one of the bracelets and it gave, gave her a lot of power having that. So I think that it's almost like you're, you belong to a club of, of safeness and something that you can turn to and I think that that from what I saw with her, it really gave her the strength to try and deal with it. And even the fact that she was special needs, she understood what was happening, but the fact that she could talk to me and she realized that there were other people that were going through the same thing and there were other people that could help and listen, that was a massive, massive help to her and actually um, allowed her to overcome it. In the UK, 10 million children are going back to school. Over half of them will be affected by bullying. You can change that by helping us train an anti-bullying ambassador in every school. Go to antibullyingpro.com forward slash back to school to find out how. Share your back to school picture and share your back to school advice using the hashtag back to school. This campaign is run by the Diana Awards charity.